Oh, you finally arrived, huh? Oh, hello. welcome everybody. Watch as I open Illusionist Stacked Watch. Um, I've waited literally a month and a half, maybe two years, I don't know. I can never tell the time. Oh, my goodness. Look at this beautiful, beautiful box. Huh? This is some personal information. Useless. Oh, look at this. Must be some kind of new version of a clamp. Oh, I like it so much. Hmm, what do you guys think about that? Leave a comment down in the bottom, and we'll go ahead and uh, get into this. Oh, my gosh. A piece of paper. Oh, my gosh. Oh, la la. Well, after carefully reviewing, this is actually the box uh, with the watch. Let's get into the intro. Yes, DJ. Okay, I'm going to be a little more serious about this type of review because I did invest a lot of my own money. Illusionist after uh, failed attempts to try to get this product for free uh, and turning me down every which way uh, I had to uh, buckle down and buy it. You get this uh, fancy magnetized screwdriver that uh, um, uh, I believe it powers up your watch. Uh, we take a look at the actual box and uh, this is the link right here. Um, hold on, snap. Oh, you know, I kind of forgot. Uh, hit me up on Instagram if you want to get the link at Satchel Sweet uh, at Instagram or whatever. Oh, uh, excuse me. Now, um, this watch is uh, something of a mystery. What is this right here? Look at this, guys. Little extra toothpicks that you get with the box. Now, um, I must go with this clamp. Hmm. Oh, look at this nice box. Oh, oh, la, la, look. Um, remember, in illusionist.com uh, with the link that I give you if you ask for it, you necessarily, 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, need this watch. Look at this beautiful thing right here. Look, they even saran wrapped it with plastic. It's hefty. Mmm, I like it. Oh, it feels weird. Well, okay, I see the problem right here. They, uh, they, uh, closed the, uh, latch on this watch right here. Oh, okay, what's up, well, that's not bad, okay? Um, let's go ahead and, uh, take off this plastic right here and see if we can get it all off and, uh, actually go ahead and take a look at the different kinds of metals I used, uh, preparatory and, uh, and this product. Egad, man, look at all this plastic. It's wrapped all over the place. Um, after carefully going over the entire watch and removing every single bit of plastic to protect the a supposed stainless steel um, wristband, um, I want to let you guys know this is not 100% without a shadow of a doubt stainless steel. Because when I put my little midi, little greasy little hands on it, what do you know? I got a stain. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to be a problem right here. This little latch is uh, either clogged with some kind of debris or something. Uh, it's the most difficult thing to clamp on. And uh, when you get it in the mail, it's super large. And uh, it's going to be super loose on your wrist. Okay? But uh, without uh, any kind of hesitation, don't forget to look at the link. And when you look over the link, you'll see that you could uh, readjust the size. What the heck is this thing turning for? Is that... Illusionist, is this really necessary for it to turn? I'll lose my place in exactly where the card is in the stack. Now, uh, it is loose. Uh, I cannot believe how loose this is. The wristband piece is super loose, obviously because it's big. But uh, clamping this piece down right here, it takes a little bit of force. And I have to... Hold on, let's see if I can figure this out. Um... You know what, me and Susan are going to get back to you on this part. We're going to get a closer view of exactly what's going on with this part right here. Just as I thought, this is made in China. It did come with its own package of coronavirus. Um, you're going to have an issue with this piece and this piece right here. And this little uh, little uh, replica weenie piece that uh, clamps down. As you can see right here, this is not a good clamp. Um, what this is going to cause is plenty of strain on your watch. And you're going to want to be careful because right here, after a significant amount of wear and tear, it's going to, uh, watch is just going to fall off your hand and you're going to get pickpocketed. It, it. Mm. And it could go down as long as you push on these two little levers on the sides. And this part too, good grief, it, it, it has a problem and the issue uh, snapping into place. Um, if you have this problem with your, your stacked watch, not Turner watch, you're going to leave a comment down below. Look at this. It is flimsy. 
Look at this. This is uh, extremely loose. And uh, as you're performing, you're going to lose your place exactly where you left your cat. Now, remember, you will get tutorials that are well explained and over exaggerated on illusionist.com. Remember, if you want the link to this uh, tutorial on how to use this watch, uh, let me know. It's, I believe it's actually free at illusionist.com. Um, and it turns out that uh, in the back uh, it has some engravings here. There is another lining of plastic along the side here. Mm. 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 I can't read a single thing of chest back there. Is there something about November movement or something? Uh, you will be able to make the adjustments as I said before. Um, if you change the strap, I believe, on this watch, you might have a better chance of survivability. Like, uh, it will be able to endure a little bit longer instead of you losing or, um, or breaking your watch. You see this? Look at the greasiness. In total honesty, this purchase is good if you like watches. I like watches. I would love to keep this watch. It's, uh, beautiful. Uh, the metallic black is, uh, extraordinary. Um, after I make readjustments to the size of the wristband, uh, I will more than likely decide to keep it. Uh, but what I am afraid of in this entire purchase is the, the fact that this is a loose piece and it's not very stable. Now, if you're not worried about investing the $60 and you like this watch and you're into the whole mnemonic or stacked um, um, idea, uh, go ahead and make this purchase because, you know, I made this purchase because I cannot memorize the Mononica, uh stack. Um, and so this is going to help me. Um, and along with the tutorials that come with it, another issue is going to be this uh, latching system. Um, I will have to uh, delve deeper into uh, exactly what's causing the problem with the latching situation. Um, other than it being made in China and... Uh, not uh, produced very well, Illusionist. I don't know what you were thinking of. And whether this was made in China or not, I don't know. Uh, I made that story up. You would have to go to that link specifically and look up exactly where it was posted or uh, where it is, was manufactured. Um, that's my review. And, and this product, I say, are those uh, two determining factors of uh, this purchase is the, the flimsiness of the metal and, and, and you know, and to be uh, truthfully honest with you, I believe this is the same metal that was made with Masato rings. Masato rings. Flimsy Masato rings, I believe. I'm not uh, 100%. Uh, I'll, I also made that up um, to get a rise out of Masato because we have beef. But um, I will not deny you the purchase. Go ahead and make this purchase if you believe you will be, uh, find this useful. Not only that, but to be able to tell the time. Uh, and know how to read it. Uh, thank you guys, everybody, for joining me today. Uh, carefully consider your purchase. And if you have any questions, go ahead and send them to me on Instagram. And I will, as quickly as I possibly can, brush my tongue while reading your comments. Now, if you enjoyed what you watched, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future videos that I have posted on this channel. Totals, everybody.